Hey, what's going on everyone? It's your boy Redstone IX here and welcome back to another mod showcase video. Now today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys a special tool, well, tools, that allow you to not only use in like uh, types of close combat and such, but you can also use it to dig up certain items and loot if you get what I'm saying. Now, before I go into more detail on what those twos are in this mod, guys, you know the drill. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video. Apart from that, guys, let us start today's video. Okay, guys, so I got a chest over here filled with a bunch of uh, of these types of tools and such. And I've also uh, removed the floor bit and have these different corners of grass patches just to show off this uh, video. And as always, I will leave a link in the description down below so you guys can try this mod out for yourself later on. Now, let us begin. So the mod we're checking out today is called the Cold's Claws mod, which contains a bunch of different claws here. We got a wooden claw, stone claw, iron claw, golden claw, diamond claw, and of course a netherite claw. Now all of these do the exact same attack damage like the swords do over here so as you can see the only difference between the claws and the swords is that they have a slow slightly slower attack speed than the actual swords do but let's get them out like so and let me first show you the crafting recipes for these sorts of things before we get into it so for the wooden claw you just need three sticks at the bottom and two sorry four of any plank wood planks just like this so it's kind of like you putting in the crafting recipe of two wooden swords and then a stick in the middle to make it the wooden claw for the stone claw is the same thing but with cobblestone the iron one same thing but with iron ingots gold with gold ingots diamond claw with diamonds and for the netherite one you just need to use a smithing table just combine a diamond claw with the netherite and get it a smithing table and you get the netherite claw so basically same thing as how you would normally get netherite equipment okay so now that we got over that let me show you how the claws work in terms of the digging part which is their main use so, so Right here we have a patches of grass here, so if you want to start digging for stuff with the claws, and look how good these claws look if I have them in my hand right here. Okay, anyway, so all you need to do is just right click the dirt with the claw in your hand, and when you do so, it will first turn into coarse dirt, then when you do it again, it will change into normal dirt. And also if you notice, I've gained a little bit of experience. So so when you dig up stuff in the dirt, you have a small chance of getting uh, experience points every time you dig up stuff. And the wooden claws durability is like 59, as you can see here. So, so with this, you can basically dig as much as you want in the dirt, getting all sorts of cool loot. So, so the loot that you get from digging up in the dirt depends on the claw you're using. So. So you could probably guess that the wooden one is not really going to give you the best loot. So let me go into creative so it's not going to use up the rest of the dirt ability. But so let me just keep digging up something to show you that you do that you do get something if you keep digging. Oh, there you go. So when I kept digging, I just got this uh, potato. So so that's kind of one of the things that you can get from digging up the dirt. I know it's not the greatest thing, but I actually have some different chest of like different kinds of loot you can gain from each of the claws i did a bit of um digging off camera before i started this video so that way i could show you what types of loot you can get with which claw so let's open up the wooden chest so so you can basically get some of these items like seeds coal grass potatoes clay clay balls and also sticks so again not really the greatest loot because well you're wooden claw anyway so of course it's not gonna be that good so but you get the idea of how this works okay so now let's move on to the stone claw so its durability is at uh, 131 and does five attack damage 
So again, it does hold up better than the wooden one for sure. And I think you do just get the same amount of experience points as if you were using any of the better claws, or the worst ones for that matter. So I just got a stick from that. So again, now let me just show you the, the loot you get from using the stone claw. So as you can see, not really any different from the wooden one, you kind of almost get the same loot as if you were using the wooden claw. Not really the greatest though. Now let's check out the Iron Claw. So the Iron Claw has 250 durability and does 6 attack damage. And with, as you keep upgrading your claws to a better rarity like, like Gold Diamond or Netherite, you would get better loot, trust me. It does get better, way better than what you're getting. And you still get to get experience points, and this time I just got a bucket. Which is kind of good if you ask me, because bucket can cost 3 iron, which can take some while to get. Okay, so let's check out the iron claw loot. So, you get some better items, you now get some bones, iron nuggets, which if you get enough you can convert into iron ingots, coal, grass blocks, more potatoes, Some you can now get sometimes redstone dust, some buckets and a stick. So again, these are just what I've gotten when I was doing the digging on camera. But you guys may end up getting the same as me, or it might be slightly different from yours, but at least this this is so, so you can get an idea of what types of loot you can expect when you use a certain claw, okay? So now let's move on to the golden one. Now the golden one, of course, is going to have the lowest durability. It's even lower than the wooden one. It has 32 durability. So again, you do end up getting better loot the more you upgrade. So I just got another bucket from that. So let's check out what you would get if you were using the golden claw. So this, you start to get way better items. Like, before I found like ender pearls, chains, emeralds, clocks, some leads, compasses, more redstone dust, Iron Nuggets, Golden Carrot, Golden Nuggets, and also a Lantern. So the loot does get better. I mean, you just literally, you can literally get emeralds just by digging in the dirt. You don't even have to go mining at all. And let me just do this before we uh, continue on with the other two claws. That if you right click sheep, you can actually use the claws to shear them as if you were using normal shears. So we got uh, Thomas the sheep over here, so excuse me Thomas while I shear you. And you get some good wolf just like that. And we'll talk later on like enchantments and how you can improve your chances of getting more of the same item and such. And another thing I want to note here is that you cannot mine leaves with the claws unless you have silk touched on them. So they don't exactly work 100% like shears do, but at least they have some good qualities that you can uh, take away from from the bad. I mean, you can shear and you can also dig up in the dirt. I mean, what more can you want? Okay, let's move on to the diamond claw. So we're going to start moving up to some better loot with this thing, for sure. Well, maybe not right now, but you do get better loot from this, trust me. Look, I just got an ender pearl. And I'm in survival mode, by the way, so you can well see that I what I'm getting. Okay, so for the diamond, you get it's 1561 durability on this. And now let's check out some of the loot that you can expect from the diamond claw. So, kind of the same kind of loot you would get from using the golden claw, at least because it has more durability. But again, this is the type of loot you can expect when using the diamond claw. Maybe even better. Okay, now for the final claw, the netherite claw. This is the one that gets you the, the greatest loot. For sure, so let's go and go do some digging up right now. So I'm just gonna keep digging up stuff. And again, you still can get XP, which can be good in many ways for enchanting, and that's our thing later down the line. So I know I just got coal from that, but loot does get better so just uh 
let me speed up this part of the video and I'll uh, see you guys in a bit when I get some better loot. Okay, so after doing all that, you get some, uh, some pretty decent loot. You get some iron ingots, clock, chain, redstone, golden carrots, some emeralds, and a compass. And there was also a, some case when I was mining on, or doing some digging off camera, you can actually get some diamonds using the nether I caught and digging up in the dirt. So let's look in here. So here you can get some way better loot, like, like you can get some skeleton skulls, more chains, Golden carrots, ender pearls, compasses, emeralds, leads, more buckets, clocks. You can even get blaze rods, and again, you can get a lot of diamonds. So let's let me quickly show you the thing with the shears and that sort of thing. In this one. So you can enchant these. So with this, you can better effectively shear leads and such, as I mentioned earlier. And I have enchanted this netherite call with some good enchantments that work for both tools and weapons. So, I've got fortune, efficiency, sharpness, fire aspect, unbreaking, and looting. Fortune can definitely increase the amount of loot you can get from uh, digging up grass blocks, for sure. So the loot you can get from this netherite claw will definitely increase. Or at least it will give you more of the same kind more often. And now we'll, we'll summon some zombies to show you how good it does in combat. Come at me, zombies. They work so well. And yeah, that is pretty much the Cold's Claws mod in Minecraft 1.16.5. And that, my friends, is going to wrap up for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed this video want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video. Apart from that guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all next week in the next one. Goodbye!